Hey kids, welcome back to Rocky Railway. We're on track for another incredible day. So let's start our fun by singing our theme song, Your Power Will Pull Us Through. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. This journey there's no looking back with Jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. We've been imagining what it would be like to travel on a steam engine through the massive Rocky Mountains, winding through all of these mountains, going up and down and around the bends. But earlier, we talked about how the steam that makes the engine go is kind of like the steam in my kettle. But the steam is so powerful, it can actually pull a whole line of train cars. But that makes me wonder, what else is powered by steam? So you know me, I did some research and I learned that some power plants use steam and they give power to entire cities. A long time ago, steam powered tractors, cars, and ships. Steam can create a lot of power. But you know what else can create a lot of power? Today we're talking about God's son Jesus and the awesome, huge, bigger than death power he has. There's a verse in the Bible that reminds us of the same mighty, awesome, unbelievable power that brought Jesus back to life. It lives inside of us. Wow. We're going to talk more about that. But for now, let's sing about it.
We've been talking a lot about big, powerful, strong things. It's easy to look at a mountain or an ocean and say, that's so big and awesome. Our big and awesome God made that. But some of our God sightings are of tiny things. Like, what about a tiny newborn baby? I can remember when my daughter Adeline was born and thinking, wow, God is so powerful that he created this tiny little baby. I mean, look at those cute little chubby cheeks. So I want you to take a minute now, pause the video and chat with your crew about tiny things that remind you of God. Hey friends, I just heard this morning that Cam and his crew were finally able to make it up and over the mountain. Let's give them a cheer. Woo! Unfortunately though, they're not gonna be back for a few hours, so we'll have to wait to hear how it went. I'm here. I mean Cam, what happened to you? I mean, isn't driving a train supposed to be easy? I mean it shouldn't be tiring, is it? Um like, doesn't the train do most of the work? Well, everything went perfectly. We made it over the mountain, delivered the M&Ms, everyone was happy. On our way back, I thought, huh, what if we could get better, get back here way faster? Aw, you missed us. I, of course. I did. Well, then I started thinking, okay, to go faster, we need more steam. In order to get more steam, we need the furnace to be hotter. So to do that, we have to put more coal in the furnace. So there we were, shoveling more coal into the furnace, and then was it enough? So we need more, and more, and more, and more, and then... Uh, then you got here super fast! We ran out of coal. Oh. I mean, that sounds frustrating and tiring. Yeah, well... Just as they thought we were going to make it back, the train ran out of juice and we engine stopped, so we were stranded there. So I hiked all the way up the mountain to get some help, and left the rest of the crew down with the train. Oh, well, I guess everything comes to an end at some point. I mean, coal runs out, trains stop, parties end, people graduate from school, grown-ups retire, ending's just a part of life. Well, that's not the most encouraging thing you've told me. Well, you didn't let me finish my story. Today, my friends and I were talking about how Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. So Jesus allows us to continue to live on forever. It never runs out. Well, that, that is probably this the most encouraging thing you've told me. See, you just had to let me finish my story. See, I don't think I know anyone that's lived forever. Well, it sounds like you need to hear more about my friend Jesus, Cam. So, I'd love to tell you all about him. Um, he's my forever friend. Well, I'm going to go find a train that can rescue my, my, all my friends down with the train. So, when I get back, I want to hear everything you have to say. Alright, well, I'll be waiting here. Forever. See you guys later. Bye! When you take a train trip, there's always a beginning to the trip and an end to the trip, right? And it's the same with our life. There's a beginning to our life and then there comes a point where there's an end to our life. And I want to spend the next couple minutes talking about that, okay? So I have a bottle of water here and we're just going to go through what that story might look like. So you're born, then what comes next? Maybe you go to preschool, then you go to elementary school, then you go to college, then this is no fun, you pay taxes, then maybe you have some kids, and you know what, you have to work a really, really long time, and then you have some grandkids, but at some point, our life comes to an end and it runs out. There is no more. And when we think about that, it can make us really, really sad. But with Jesus and his power, we can have life that goes on and on and on and on. It is amazing. And today we've been talking about how Jesus' power lets us live forever. 
trust Jesus. Our life on earth will end, but because of Jesus' power, we can have the power to live with Jesus in heaven forever. And to make that happen, Jesus had to die on the cross. And you're going to hear more about that in your story, but for right now, we're going to sing a song that talks all about the old rugged cross. Would you sing with me? help us remember that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Let's watch this video and find out. Are you ready to splash into another fantastic day at VBS? I'm Finn, a rainbow trout. I'm happiest when I'm taking a dip in a clean, bubbly mountain stream. Ah, oh, this is the life. This stream is where I began life. This exact spot where I hatch is pretty important to me, but we'll get to that later. I spend most of my day flipping my fins, swishing my scales, and exploring this awesome river looking for food. I love to eat. Me and my fishy friends spend about 80% of our day looking for food. I use my mouth to poke around and look for good stuff to eat. And sometimes I end up getting a mouthful of weeds and sticks. Not bad. 
Of course it's not as good as the bugs or the crustaceans I usually like. I'll even jump out of the water for them. God gave me something super sharp to help me find food. My eyes. They show me what to eat <laughs> and what to stay away from. After being born, I might travel to a new stream far away from my home. But when it's time to lay eggs, rainbow trout always return home. My cousins, steelhead trout, travel from a freshwater stream all the way to the ocean. Even if they've lived in the ocean for a couple of years, they swim against the stream to make it back home. That takes a lot of power. Wow! Home is important to me and my fish family. Jesus knew that a forever home was important too. That's why Jesus died, to pay for all the wrong things you've ever done or will ever do. Because those sins are paid for, you can have life forever in an awesome place called heaven. But Jesus' power doesn't just cover your sins. Jesus is so powerful that he beat death forever. But it gets even better. The Bible tells us the Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you. That means a friendship with Jesus gives you the same awesome power that let him beat death. Wow! So, if you're feeling worried or sad, or things seem out of control, remember that Jesus' power is bigger than anything, and it's right there for you. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! Finn is fantastic and a surprising reminder of Jesus' power and love. So I want you to put your hands together like this, and I want you to swim around like a fish. This is going to remind us of our buddy Finn. And you can swim around the house giving high f fishy high fives to all of the crew members to remind you of our Bible buddy Finn. Welcome back to Imagination Station. I'm so happy to see you. I can only imagine what we'll discover together today. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! But before we do anything else, you know, I just have to ask, did you bring your imaginations today? I don't know. Your brains look a little dried out to me, but I have an idea. I was talking with my friend Finn. Finn, he's a rainbow trout. 
Finn told me some really interesting facts about rainbow trout. Did you know rainbow trout are part of the salmon family? So each year, they go home to the same river where they were born to have their babies. That's so incredible! How do they know where to go? God made rainbow trout so amazing. Anyway, I was thinking, since rainbow trout go back to where they were born, let's pretend we're rainbow trout like Finn. Make your best fish face. When I count to three, keep your fish face and shout out where you were born. Ready? One, two, three. That was fun, all you fish! Now our imaginations are really swimming. Okay, here's today's question. Rainbow trout have teeth, but do they have only upper teeth or only lower teeth? Got your answer ready? Okay, time for the drum roll so I can reveal the amazing answer. And the answer is, rainbow trout like Finn have teeth only on the roof of their mouths. Imagine that. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Heaven will be amazing. But here on earth, sometimes things get a little rough. Sometimes our lives are filled with hard things we have to face. Think about some of the hard things you've gone through in life or hard things that kids your age sometimes face. For me, I went through a really hard time when I had to move away from all of my friends. I wasn't sure if I'd ever make any new friends. Yes. Sometimes our lives are filled with things that are hard. Kind of like this bottle is filled with water. One day, our lives on earth will end. And that seems sad. But it will also be the end of all those hard things in life you thought about. Sadness will end. Sickness will end. Bullying will end. Loneliness will end. Because of Jesus, there will be no more tears, no more sorrow. There will be only joy and light and love and Jesus. Our joy will be bottomless, endless. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. I'm so excited and thankful to know that when we believe in Jesus, we can know for sure that we'll live forever with him in heaven. Our story will go on and on because of Jesus' great love and power. Today's gizmo is called a perpetual paper. The word perpetual means never ending, something that goes on and on without end. And these perpetual papers can remind us of our never ending story with Jesus. Each page of your perpetual paper has something for you to do. And as you open each surprising page, you'll see that your story with Jesus just keeps going on and on and on. It's really cool. Go ahead and grab your perpetual paper. Hold it so that you're looking at Ramsey, the bighorn sheep. This page reminds us of what we learned on our first day at Rocky Railway VBS. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! And there's a space for you to draw something hard that Jesus has helped you do. Maybe you'll draw a soccer ball because Jesus helped you learn a hard new sport. Or maybe you'll draw a school building because Jesus helped you during a hard time at school. So go ahead and start drawing.
love how Jesus helps us do hard things. His power is amazing and full of love. Now hold your perpetual paper so you're looking at the bighorn sheep and open it like a book. Cool! Now I see Ava the red-tailed hawk. She can remind us that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus! There's a space where you can write a note to Jesus, thanking him for the hope he's given you. Now unfold your perpetual paper to discover another buddy. The Sierra page reminds us that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus! Sierra says to tell about a time Jesus helped you be bold. For me, it was the first time I trained for a marathon. I didn't think there was any way I could make it, but I prayed and Jesus helped me to get through. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! What an incredible gift! The chance to live with Jesus in heaven forever. When you believe in Jesus, your relationship with him will never end. It will be perpetual. Open your perpetual paper one more time to find Finn. Heaven is going to be so amazing. Listen to just a few things the Bible says about what heaven will be like. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. And listen to what this description of heaven will look like. The wall was made of jasper, and the city was pure gold and clear as glass. The twelve gates were made of pearls, each gate from a single pearl, and the main street was pure gold as clear as glass. Doesn't that sound amazing? On Finn's page, draw what you think heaven will be like. Go ahead and do that now. I love these perpetual papers. I can't stop playing with mine. It's so fun to keep opening the pages over and over again. And no matter which page I open, I can remember Jesus' power. And I can use my perpetual paper to tell my friends and family that Jesus' love is perpetual and it never ends. Well, we've come to the end of our time today at Imagination Station. Take your perpetual paper and put it inside a baggie so it doesn't get lost. If you have a Try This at Home sticker, it will help you remember today's point. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! 
All right, we'll see you here next time at Imagination Station. <laughs>
lines of the song tell us this. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. You see, not everyone believed that Jesus was God's son. Some people thought he was lying. And they got so angry that they actually arrested Jesus. They hurt him and they forced him to carry a rough wooden cross all the way to a big hill called Golgotha. There, they nailed his hands and feet to that cross, and they left him there to die. In that time, only criminals were put to death on a cross. But Jesus had never even sinned. He didn't do anything wrong. He was God's pure and perfect son. The song tells us that the cross is an emblem. That means a picture of suffering and shame. Jesus suffered our shame. And we may feel ashamed of the wrong things that we do, the bad choices that we make. And even though we do a lot of great things, we all have sin. The next part of the song tells us, and I love that old cross, where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. Now that may sound like a lot of fancy old fashioned words, but slain means that someone was killed. Jesus was the dearest and best. In the Bible, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 22, says that Jesus never sinned or deceived anyone. That means Jesus never did anything wrong or made any bad choices ever. Wow. When we do something wrong, there's usually a punishment or a consequence. When we sin, the ultimate consequence is separation from God forever. Imagine being separated from God's love, his forgiveness, his goodness, his power, peace, joy forever. How would that make you
make you feel. I would feel scared and lonely. Even though Jesus never sinned, he willingly died for you. He loves you so much that he took the punishment for all of your wrong choices. It was the only way to heal our friendship with God. The next lines of the song go like this. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. Cherish means to value or treasure something. Sometimes we value or treasure or cherish our accomplishments. You know, all those awards and things, and it's okay to be proud of them, but a thousand ribbons or awards or good deeds can't take away our wrong choices. We can never do enough good things to earn a place in heaven. The Bible says it this way. Ephesians 2 verse 8 says, God saved you by grace when you believed, and you can't take credit for this. It's a gift from God. We don't have enough power to save ourselves. Only Jesus can save us. We need to lay down those treasures at the foot of the cross as a way to show that he is most important. Finally, we sing these words in the song. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Jesus' story didn't end at the cross. Remember, Jesus is God's own son with God's power. And that power is even stronger than death. After three days, something incredible happened. In Matthew 28, verse two to four, the angel said, don't be afraid. I know you're looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He's risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come, see where his body was lying. Jesus beat death that day. And today, for you and me, the Bible promises this, for this is how God loved the world, that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Because of Jesus, we can cling to the cross, the promise, the hope, the love, the power it represents. And the last line in the song says, we'll trade our trophies for a crown. The Bible describes heaven as a place where the streets are made of gold and the walls are made of gems. This place Jesus is making for us is more beautiful than we can imagine. There's no more tears, no more sadness, and God's peace and glory are everywhere. Wow, that is something to cling to. And then Our hearts will be stuck like with Jesus all the time, and we can live with him forever. Welcome. I'm so glad to see that you're tuning in again, right here at Kid Vid Cinema. Today, we're going to watch a special story about another real kid just like you. I want to tell you up front, though, it's a story with some sadness but it's also a story of incredible hope. First, let's review what we're discovering about Jesus' power. So Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. And today's verse comes from Romans chapter 8, verse 11, and it says, The Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you. All week long, we've been learning about Jesus' power. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives inside of us. That's incredible. That means you can live knowing that when you believe in Jesus, you can live with him forever in heaven one day. Forever. Today in our story, we're going to meet a boy named Isaac. And Isaac, he had a really sad thing happen in his life. His brother, Joel, died from a disease called cancer. Joel was a friend of Jesus, though. Isaac and his family are glad to know that Joel's in a wonderful place called heaven to live with Jesus forever. So let's watch and see how Isaac is excited to see his brother in heaven one day. I'm Isaac and I'm 11 years old. Uh, at home I like to, well a lot of times I play video games. <laughs> I have two brothers, one's older than me, he's in into acting and singing. My younger brother, Elijah, he's seven. 
My sister's name is Zoe, but she, like a normal four-year-old toddler, will make messes all the time, paint on the walls. Isaac also dances. Uh, I started dancing, I think, like two years ago. My favorite kind of dance is contemporary or lyrical. It's sort of like ballet, but it's a little more free. I always felt like when I was dancing, I wasn't really stressed about anything or worried. Sort of forget about anything else that is bothering you. Isaac had another brother named Joel. Joel was two years younger than I am. He was always really happy and joyful. When he was one, he was diagnosed with brain cancer. Cancer is a disease that most kids do not have or get. He had to do some crazy thing to get rid of it, and it was gone for a year. But then it came back, and they said he only had a few months to live, but then he lived five more years. Sadly, Isaac's little brother, Joel, died. One of the things I remember a lot about him is he always had that, like, little giggle. <laughs> he, he always loved knocking cup towers down. So he'd make one that was, like, maybe double the size of him. And he'd run into it, and it would come down, and he'd laugh so hard. A lot of times we'd take him to this farm. It was like a petting zoo in some places and you could feed the animals. I have this one mem memory of Joel. He, he was feeding the goats. So we give him the bag to reach in and <laughs> give to the goats. But then he just gives the bag to the goats and the goat devours oh. the whole thing. <laughs> Joel always loved animals. One time he got to ride a pony and he was so happy. He loved it. Isaac misses his brother Joel. Joel loved Jesus and believed in him too. Um, a lot of times I feel sort of like I miss him and pretty sad, but I'm glad that he's in heaven and he can do so many things that I can't even do right now. <laughs> Dancing always like cheers me up because I sort of, it makes me think about God and how he's with Joel and he is amazing. <laughs> Isaac knows that because of Jesus, he will be able to see his brother again in heaven. I sort of look forward to hearing his giggle and I look forward to running up to him and giving him a grand old hug. <laughs> In the Bible, the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 11 says, The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. I feel like that verse makes me feel like sort of hopeful that we can share the power of God and the Holy Spirit with the whole world and that one day we can all know Jesus and God and praise and worship together, even if we die, we still get to live forever in heaven with God, and Jesus' power is letting you live forever. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Thanks for watching that video with me today. I think it's normal to feel a little sad when watching a video like that, but there's a lot of hope in this story too. Joel loved Jesus, and he's in heaven with Jesus right now. Joel's not sick anymore, and he doesn't have to deal with treatments for his cancer. It's okay to be sad when somebody dies, but it's that great sadness that won't last forever. But life with Jesus will last forever. So I want you to pause the video now, and I want you to circle up with your crew and talk about this question. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for your love and your power. Thank you that we can have hope that one day we can live with you forever. And God, we thank you for this story of Isaac. And God, I pray that you would comfort Isaac and his family with the fact that they can know that Joel is with you and that he loves you. In Jesus' name, amen.
It's time for a rockin' review. Today you discovered that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Our Bible memory buddy Finn is a fantastic friend, if you remember. He's a fish who reminds us of Jesus' power and love. So let's sing Power in the Blood. This song helps us remember that Jesus' power over death and that we can have joy in heaven one day. So far, we've met Ramsey, Ava, Sierra, and Finn, four friends who've helped us remember our Bible points. So it's time to add Finn to our pack, and so parents, you can go find those now in your supply box. And while the parents are going to find those kids, we are going to do some more fishy high fives, all right? So hands together. All right, we're going to do some more fishy high fives until your parents get back. Okay, so once your parents are back, they are going to put the Finn Bible Buddy in between their hands and they are going to fishy high five to you while they say, you're fantastic. Okay, kids? And once you have your Bible Buddy, you can punch out the hole in the top and you can, you guessed it, add it to your carabiner. And then what are you going to do with it? I can't hear you. Then you're going to clip it to your clothes somewhere so that later you can play your Bible memory buddy game. All right, hands together one more time. Some more fishy high fives. And while we finish up, let's sing a song.
we've been exploring trips and trains with tons of fun on the Rocky Railway. All journeys have a beginning and end though. Passengers get on the train and the conductor shouts, all aboard, and the passengers are on their way. They may take stops along the trip and passengers can get out and go sightseeing and do fun things. And eventually the train reaches the end of the journey. A buffer stop, or something like this big X, is placed at the end of the track. It indicates that it's the end of the line. This means the train's journey has come to an end. With no more tracks, there's no more way for the train to continue on. And our life journey is like that train journey. Every life has a beginning and an end. So this here reminds us of our buffer stop, that things come to an end. At the beginning of our journey, we're born. Maybe the story goes something like this. As a toddler, they learn how to crawl. Then you go to school, maybe get a job, pay taxes. Then you get older and have kids and those kids have kids and now you're either a grandma or a grandpa and you end up working every day, but then that, that eases off and you know, you have a little bit extra time and you can do some more things that you wanna do. Maybe you even take the grandkids to day camp. Our lives ease up a little bit, but then eventually every life comes to an end. It can't continue. It can't move forward. A train without a track can't move forward. It might just derail or, or crash. Our lives can't go on forever without Jesus. And we're at the end of the line. Only Jesus can remove this barrier. So please stand up with me and sing the old rugged cross.
Jesus died on the cross for me and for you. Jesus' power over death lets us live forever with him. The Bible says the Spirit of God, which raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you. God, thank you for this promise from your word, that it gives us such great hope to know that even though our journey will end one day, God, that it doesn't end in heaven with you. So thank you for this truth. And God, would you be with us today and give us hope as we look forward to living with you forever in heaven one day. In Jesus' name, amen. We learned today that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. What an awesome promise. As we wrap up today, I know that we talked about some things that were, were pretty sad, but it also gives us hope to know that Jesus' power is bigger than all of that. So tomorrow is our last day here at Rocky Railway, and that's also very sad, but I'm excited that we ha still have one more day where we get to learn and grow together. So you know the drill, post your pictures to the SCF Kids Ministry page of your theme day tomorrow, which is crazy socks. So let me see those crazy socks on Facebook and you can be entered to win a prize. So that's all we have for today, but I hope to see you again tomorrow and have a great night's sleep, you guys. See you later.